Hey guys, this video is about dishonesty and benchmarks, false advertising, uh, and just a general BS uh, kind of things that I've noticed that you guys might not notice. You may you may uh, notice uh, two things before I get started. Um, one, yes, I, I know I need to shave, and two, no swearing in the comments, uh, or I will find you and slap you with a trout. Okay, so first off, just here is an advertisement. Now, usually you're going to see either all AMD or all Intel ads. So here we go. This is this is an AMD base. These are AMD based systems, right? So if we look at the main system here, what do you see? What do you see? Right there. Well, if I don't know if you could see too well, but those are three sticks of RAM. How many AMD systems have three or six, you know, to take three or six sticks of RAM? So, okay, so there's false advertising right there. Anyway, so the Radeon, what is it, the 5570 is released. Okay, and here, the picture. All right, this is just a stock picture. It's a single slot card. Um, you know, it's whatever that form factor is. And um, before, let me explain the kind of audience this card is targeted at. All right, this card has a, a manufactured uh, recommended price of like. Eighty to eighty-five dollars. Okay. Now, once Nvidia co finally comes out with their DirectX 11 cards, uh, all the prices of the ATI cards are going to go down. For example, the 5870 was supposed to be three hundred and twenty dollars, but good luck finding it for under four hundred. All right. Um, so, but that's not really the point here. I'm talking more of the low end and the common consumer. So. You and I, and, uh, people like you and I, because most of my viewers are gamers, aren't going to go out and buy this video card, okay? Because it's just not, it's not going to have the horsepower, because here's the thing, looking at the benchmarks that these sites are running, I've got uh, three sites, um, Hard OCP, Tom's Hardware, and just whatever site came up first for uh, the picture for the video here um, and I'm going to show you their test systems and you can make up your own mind if these are typical of what you think this card will go into as far as systems are concerned okay so let's go to hard OCP and their test system is an Intel Core i7 920. Oh, and it's overclocked to 3.6 gigahertz. Right. Tom's hardware. Let me make the text larger than negative 3. Oops, wrong way. Core i7 920. Right. Next. Um. Hot hardware. I, I've never been to the site before, but um, their test system is a. Let's zoom in a bit here. It's a Core i7 965. Um, yeah. Okay. The 5570 is the kind of card. Excuse me. I know my camera sucks. Please forgive me. So, the 5570 is a kind of card someone's parent is going to go out and get installed into their to the computer so their daughter can play The Sims. Maybe someone will get it to play World of Warcraft because they have Intel integrated graphics. Whatever. That's the kind of card this is. Right? Um, you're not going to get much more low end. I mean, this is the lowest of the 120-bit uh, memory interface uh, cards uh, from ATI. So, 
And when I, uh, so it's not a, it's not necessarily a bad card. It's just not targeted at, you know, uh, most gamers, most uh, more dedicated gamers, I guess. Now the other thing I want to touch upon is that Intel cheats on benchmarks. And I guess while we're at it, Tom's Hardware is is run by a bunch of Intel fanboys because all they ever do is talk about 1156, whatever. Um, but the software compilers um, that Intel releases intentionally looks for the best possible routes to get the maximum performance out of software when it's running an Intel, uh, when there's an Intel based x86 CPU uh, in your computer and if it doesn't detect the vendor ID um, associated with Intel CPUs it'll find the least optimal routes. So, right. So yes, buyer beware. There is a lot of dishonesty out there. But if you're sharp enough, you can you can cut right through it pretty easy. So, perception. Anyway, so just a quickie um, video here. Nothing extravagant. And um, I'm going to go finish Uh, conquering Internet Explorer because I hate it. So, and then once I'm done with that, I have a few more things, and then we're going to beta. And after the initial beta, then you guys get to see beta too. So, and uh, yeah, so we're getting there. Probably about a c couple more weeks before the second beta, the open beta, and then things are gonna go crazy. So, like crazy number of videos. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around.